Pro Football Focus, NFL secondary rankings. Um, they have the Jets 1, the Dolphins 2, Eagles 3, Broncos, Ravens, Cowboys, Chiefs. They have the Browns at 8. Again, I think it's a little, uh, I think it's a little low, but that's all right. Uh, Ward, Emerson, uh, Newsom, Thornhill, Grant, Delpit. Uh, you also have Rodney McLeod in there. Offseason signing of Juan Thornhill earned a 75.2 coverage grade last season. Should be a substantial upgrade to the safety room. The switch to Jim Schwartz as defensive coordinator should produce a better coached group. Um, I can tell you this, they're going to be a little bit more aggressive up front, and that's going to make the secondary not have to do as much work. Yeah, and, you know, I had an opportunity to talk to um, Greg Newsom on uh, Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show, and we, we asked him about, you know, playing in the slot, the difference between playing in the slot playing outside. And he just explained, hey, listen, you know, Last year playing in the slot, you know, there was a lot of games where 60 to 65, 70 percent of the time I'm in I'm in the run fits. And what that just basically means is if you take a linebacker out to insert a nickel, which is a cornerback that's going to play in the slot, that guy has responsibilities in the run game. So he's basically taking the position of a, a wheel linebacker or a Sam linebacker of you, whatever way you want to look at it to the field. And he has the same run responsibilities as in turning the ball back in, where he fits, what gap he has, if it's a run. It, it, all of those things play a role. And he's saying, now I'm not in the run fit like that. Because, you know, when you're asking a guy a slight frame like him, he's like, I don't have a problem tackling. But, I mean, I just come on. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a smaller frame guy. And if I'm up there 50, 60% of the time making those tackles, do you really want me? Being the size I am, making those tackles on the Derrick Henrys of the world and the Jonathan Taylors of the world. Nah, I'm cool. Like, I'm, I'm a cover guy. We know where our bread's butter. So I thought that was a little bit of an insight because it just goes to show you, you can you can line up in a lot of different ways. And when you compare the scheme of what one coach is doing compared to what another scheme, co another coach do, it could really pay dividends and it really can, you know, show you know, what, what kind of a coach you have because you can put your players in the wrong position and it's not going to look good. And the Browns' run defense did not look good at all last year. Yep. Yeah. Historically bad, I would, uh, I would say.